Alrighty guys, so today's video is going to be a explanation on a registry tweak that I finally figured out how to apply, which is super useful for your graphics card. And this tweak I have been trying to find for ages because I couldn't exactly remember the name of the registry tweak and I always wondered um, exactly how to do it and so essentially what this does is normally there is a command that you can do in windows which is known as disabling your idle states for your cpu which means that when you disable it it'll make your cpu run at its max um, frequency and what that's going to do is obviously produce a much better result in terms of latency responsiveness um, jitteriness just all around because you're forcing your cpu to stay at its highest speed and so you don't have to worry about it fluctuating up and down whenever you're playing a game or something like that. Well, I was trying to figure out how to do that with your graphics card and I kept running into hitches, which is that, for example, with this tweak that I've recommended people do where you go into here and you set it to 1100, which is the maximum voltage your graphics card can support, when you hit L, the problem with doing this kind of tweak is that it forces the graphics card essentially to obey NVIDIA's um, essentially voltage curve along with their temperature curve. And what this does is that it basically um, makes it impossible to stabilize perfectly unless you exactly know the perfect temperature of your system. So unless you can keep your GPU under a certain temperature, which not everyone can because not everyone has a GPU that is perfectly coolable, especially with like larger graphics cards or you know ones that use more power or badly um, ventilated systems, if you go to too high of a temperature, this will start dropping down. And this also is a problem because not every, you know, situation can be tweaked this way. And so I was trying to figure out how to do this with the graphics card. And I saw somebody on the forums post this tweak. And at first I thought it was snake oil because I was wondering um, exactly what does this do because it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because it just seemed like a very obscure tweak and it, there wasn't a whole lot of explanation behind it. But it turns out that NVIDIA has a lot of different services that run through their drivers, through your graphics card, and a couple of them are hidden from you that you don't know about. And a couple of them specifically are, for example, Desktop Windows Manager, or DWM.exe. For a lot of you guys that don't know what that does, that's extremely important for um, your overall like visual smoothness, and Desktop Windows Manager does a lot of things under the hood that you don't necessarily know about. So, for example, if you remove Desktop Windows Manager, your entire screen goes blank and you can't use your operating system. So that should give you guys an idea as to like how critical that process is. So we don't want a process like that having any sort of power saving features enabled. Well, NVIDIA, for some stupid reason, decides to put this service, Desktop Windows Manager, on power saving mode. And the way you can verify this is that if you go into the NVIDIA control panel, and then you go over to here and you find the program settings, and you click add, and then you find in the um, browse tab, and then you find, for example, in system 32, desktop windows manager. Well, if you check right here, you'll see in the power management mode that there is the NVIDIA recommended. This is what it is at default, which NVIDIA recommended is always going to be power saving just because they're going to be shipping graphics cards to a bunch of people. Well, I saw this tweak and I was wondering, okay, that's cool, but how does that exactly work? Like, what does that do? And I couldn't find a lot of literature about it until I finally stumbled across the registry tweak that was related to this. Essentially, the way that you disable idle states is that when you do it, not only does it put you to your max GPU clock speed, 100% of the time, but it also will keep the voltage at 100% all of the time. And the reason why this is so useful is because in MSI Afterburner, I have not tweaked anything. So everything is at stock default values right now. There's nothing that I've applied, right? But normally this bolt, this graphics card is running at around 2500 megahertz, which is a little bit lower. And that's at an, that's at an idle state. Well, if we go over to here and we just slide the core voltage to the side, now we're at 1100 and now our graphics card goes even higher. And then we go and take the power slider, we slide that up, and then that only unlocks more extra power for us to go even further past that. So that's the main reason why this tweak is so useful, is because we can now modify our graphics curve to just essentially stay that way forever, regardless of usually temperature and any other problems. And so this is just a super useful registry tweak. And so I was wondering why this was 
affecting this essentially curve. And I took a picture of this because at first I didn't believe that it actually worked because I saw the tw I saw the registry tweak and I thought I've seen it before, but I couldn't quite figure out how to verify it. So this is a picture of before I did the registry tweak. I just have a picture of all of the different stuff. So we've got MSI afterburner, and then we have the voltage stuff right next to it. So as you can see right here, it's at 2,500 megahertz and then 965 millivolts. Well, when I finally applied that registry tweak and I did one system reset, now my system is running at 2730 megahertz and it's running at, you know, 52. So it's running a little bit hotter, but voltage temperature is a little bit lower because, you know, it hadn't been doing anything for the last couple of minutes because I just barely reset. So this is a really cool, useful tweak. And so that's what this essentially does is it, it finds all of the hidden program files inside of the Windows um, uh, the manage uh, desktop stuff from the NVIDIA control panel and it finds all of those profiles and it overrides all of them and that's the reason why this tweak is so useful is because I was wondering why when I was playing a game why it was so smooth after I did this tweak because I thought for sure that this had to be snake oil of some kind because it just didn't make sense to me well the way that you get to that registry tree is you're going to have to do a couple things so you're going to want to open up device manager and then you're going to want to go and look for the display adapters and find your graphics card. Go to the properties and then go into the device description and then go down and find the class GUI ID or GUID. And then you're going to want to copy that. And now what you're going to want to do is close out of this. So that should fix that. And then basically you're going to go into this specific tree right here. So it's the control class. And then you want to paste that specific uh, GUID inside of here. Then you're going to want to go into either the 000 yours might be slightly different so it might be something like 0001 and then you're going to want to input this specific registry key what it's called is disable dynamic p state spelled exactly that way and when you set it to zero that enables the idle states and that enables your graphics card to go into power savings but when you disable it and press it to one or press it change the value to one that's what allows this tweak to work and so that's the reason why this tweak is connected is because this essentially overrides all of these different um, certain applications that kind of work off each other through the graphics card. Because you've got to imagine that there's not going to be just one service that goes through your graphics card. There's going to be multiple ones. And there are other things that your graphics card does besides just rendering a game. It's doing all sorts of stuff in the background, like processing information, right? And so... That's the reason why this was having um, such a noticeable impact on the smoothness of the game is because it's the same reason why disabling the idle states of your CPU gives you better latency and responsiveness because you're preventing the graphics card from staying at a low power state, which is never good because what we all know we need to have is a max core clock, a max, um, a max CPU core clock, and a max GPU core clock. And then what we need to do is just get rid of everything else around it, which is the Windows power saving features and everything associated with it. And so, yeah guys, finally found this tweak. I spent quite a while trying to find it and I was trying to wonder how this um, NVIDIA control panel tweak was associated with it in terms of like, why does this one even exist? Why is, why is changing this power management feature changing the whole responsiveness of the system? And so, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe and please, you know, share it with a bunch of other people because it's taken a, a long long time to try and find this specific um this specific tweak and so hopefully you guys enjoy the video my name is savaterix and i'm out